In today's tutorial, I'm showing you how to do this braid that I wore for a day at home and how to transition it into a night look that you could wear for date night on Valentine's. So to start, I'm just using two small extensions and clipping them on both sides of my part, two on each side, and I'm just stacking them right on top of each other like you'll see me do here. And that's just to give me a little bit of bulk to the braid that we'll be doing here in a minute. Extensions are of course optional, you do not have to wear extensions if your hair is already thick or if you just don't have any. But then after that you are going to take three small sections and begin to do a regular Dutch braid and angling it down towards your hairline. As I'm doing this Dutch braid, you can see I'm kind of leaving the top layer untouched and that's just so if any of my extensions end up showing after I'm done with this braid, then I can kind of use that layer to lay it on top of any extensions that might be showing. But if you're not wearing extensions, you really don't need to worry about that and you can include the top layer into your braid or if you just like the look of the layer covering up the sections you're crossing over into the braid, then you can leave that top layer untouched like I am. When you're done with that braid, you can pull it apart to make it look as thick as you want. And then after that, you can secure it with a clear elastic. And from there, we're just going to grab a section of hair like you see me doing, just a small section on the side. And you can put that along with the braid into another pony, preferably using clear elastics. Mine are actually colored but you can't really see them. They're just little hair ties from Walmart. You can get like a pack of 300 for super cheap. So I'm just using those and then after you have that secure you can take out the rubber band you had on the braid. Then I'm just going through and doing the exact same thing on the other side, doing a Dutch braid and pulling it apart and then securing it with an elastic. Only this time you'll end there so you should end up with just a regular braid and then a braid into a ponytail. Then you're going to take the ponytail and next to it make another ponytail. So this is going to get to start sounding really confusing so try and stay with me. But you're just going to make a second ponytail, tie that off with an elastic and then you'll take the first pony and divide that into two sections and take the second pony and pull it across and pin that up. Then you're going to take the split ponytail and a new small section of hair and join them together with an elastic to make one new ponytail. Once the new pony is secure, then you can release the one you had clipped up and you're going to do the exact same thing. So you're going to split the first pony into two sections, take the second one, pull it across and pin it up. Once you have that pinned up, you're going to take the split ponytail and a new small section of hair and tie that off into a new pony. And then again you'll do the same thing, you'll release the first pony, split the first pony into two sections, 
pull the second one across and pin it up and you're just going to keep doing that exact same thing. It is kind of confusing and it's hard to get the hang of so I had to watch a tutorial multiple times to learn how to do this. There's tons of tutorials out there on how to do this pull through braid but I promise you'll get it and it ends up looking really really cool in the end. So keep watching but you basically just do the same thing until you run out of hair. When you get to the end for your last ponytail, you'll include the braid into that ponytail and then take the elastic off the braid. And then you'll have two ponytails left. So with the bottom ponytail, you're going to take a new elastic and tie it about two inches down to make kind of a bubble. Then you're going to split that bubble in half and pull the top ponytail through that. Then with the ponytail you pulled through, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to add an elastic to create a bubble and then split the bubble in half and pull the top ponytail through. And then of course you're just going to keep doing that until you run out of hair. When you get towards the bottom, if your hair is getting kind of thin like mine was, then you can just tie off a new little bubble and call it good. Then we're going to go in back and pretty much any loop you see you're just going to pull out and it's going to create a really cool effect. It totally changes the look of the style. So you're just going to pull really hard on any loop and I definitely suggest having a mirror to look in and having one behind you so you can kind of see what you're doing. I didn't have one and it makes it very difficult. And just as a side note, since you do have so many rubber bands in there, you do have to pull pretty hard on these and if you end up pulling one out too much, you can always bobby pin it down or kind of hide the loop a little bit. So. I would pull harder than normal and then you can go in front and just keep pulling everything apart and when you get to the ponytail area you're going to do the same thing just pull on any loop you see and it creates a really cool pulled apart messy braid look. When you're done pulling the braid apart, it should look something like this and it was the braid I wore in this picture that I posted on my Instagram. And then for a nighttime look, you can take that braid and just loop it around and from there you're basically just going to pin it. And you can kind of have fun with this and pin it however you want. You could probably make tons of different cool shapes and buns and different things. But I'm just kind of looping it around in a circle and pinning it with as many bobby pins as I need so that it doesn't fall apart. And when
when you are done, you will end up with something like this. I always find that with updos, it's so hard to make it look messy, but this way it's cool because you can have a hairstyle for the day and then it's really easy to transition it into the night look. So I hope you guys liked it and if you did, push thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.